let's take a look at the uh, an example for good grief for the bipolar junction trans transistor this is example 17 1 out of your text or you can see we have a representative example here so in this example <clears throat> what they want us to do is solve for all of the voltages and currents given the resistor values so we've got VCC at 30 volts we've got R1 and R2 forming our uh, our divider network we've got a collector resistor 1k and we've got an emitter resistor 1k 2n 3904 transistor and a beta dc of 200 okay this transistor is typical as a general purpose so let's just go through uh, each of these using either ohm's law or the voltage divider and solve for the unknowns so in this case we're going to solve for the base voltage and it's approximately you see here the value of the voltage divider so we've got our voltage divider here R1 and R2 and we use the VCC as the source across that voltage divider so we have 10k ohm and the sum of the 10k and the 22k ohm resistors multiply that times 30 volts for VCC and we end up then with a value of 9.38 volts again it is shown as approximate value so now we can use uh, our other values taking the difference in VB and the barrier potential 7 tenths of a volt we can solve for the voltage across the collector okay the volt the collector voltage so VB minus 7 tenths is 9.38 minus 7 tenths of a volt which gives us a value of VE 6 point, or 8.68 volts so we're going to hang on to that too because we're going to need that later now we can solve for the current through uh, through the emitter by using Ohm's law so VE we just solved for the resistor value 1k ohm 8.68 volts 1k ohm gives us 8 0.68 milliamps of current then from the emitter to through the resistor RE. Since alpha DC is so close to 1 for most transistors this is a good approximation and we can assume that IC is approximately equal to IE so in this case we're going to say since we know our value of IE 8.68 milliamps we just solve for we have 8.68 milliamps for IC continuing then since we have that value now we can use IC is equal to beta DC IB and solve for IB so if we move our terms around solving for the base current we have the collector current divided by beta DC 8.68 milliamps divided by 200 gives us a current value then for the base of 43.4 microamps of current now solving for the collector voltage knowing the collector current 8.68 milliamps then VC is equal to the source VCC minus our, IC, our IR IC RC value so 30 volts minus 8.68 milliamps times 1 K ohm for the resistor 30 minus 8.68 gives us a collector voltage then of 21.3 volts here across the resistor the last step then since VCE is the collector to emitter voltage okay up here it's the difference of VC and VE so the difference in the collector voltage and the emitter voltage so the collector to emitter voltage then is V collector minus V emitter 21.3 volts minus 8.68 volts gives us 12.6 volts for the collector to emitter voltage okay so that should give you a good introduction to the types of um, calculations that you'll be making typical to these transistor type circuits.
good luck.